Hello, Steve White, Trek 89 for Steve Outs 89, Star Trek's alleged gatekeeper. Okay, so I just watched episode 7 of Star Trek Strange New Worlds season 1. The Serene Squall, which is the name of the pirate ship featured in the episode. Now, um, the episode could have been good if they'd been able to hit a consistent tone. It was very uneven. Um, the start of the episode, uh, the crew takes on the, um, the counsellor, the doctor, um, who they are trying to find a group of colonists who appear to have been taken to be um, used as um, slaves or something. And the start of the episode kind of starts off well, where you sort of believe that they're going on this mission at the edge of the, um, you know, the Federation and everything. And there's a great scene with the Enterprise going through, being piloted through um, an asteroid um, belt and so forth, and, and the tension's good, and the, the council character is interesting. They're talking to Spock about identity and um, the idea that maybe you're not one or the other, maybe you're something else, and they're playing against um, their um, person and, you know, the character and everything, and, and it's sort of working. Um, the performance was a little weak from Jesse James Cartel at that point, um, but they were doing something interesting, so it was kind of okay. Um, but then things got really bad. Uh, the crew beamed down, and when they beamed down, a um, boarding party beams up. And the scene of them taking over the bridge is actually really well done, and the action scene with Spock and the fighting is really done, and the jeopardy with the, the council because they're not a Stafford officer, they haven't had training, and um, Spock's protecting them. It was all very good, and the crew sort of trying to evade the... Um, the people taking over the ship. Um, number one shuts the ship down so they can't do much and they're trying to get the codes out of Pike and all that was working and then it wasn't. Uh, basically they, they turned comedic uh, with Pike and the crew in um, ca cap cap captivity. Uh, they did this um, Alpha Braga 4 thing where they were trying to befriend the crew and create a mutiny against the captain who was um, a large, um, bearded um, Orion with some really bad makeup on top of um, the Orion makeup, which made it look like the overall makeup was done by children. Um, and that, the tone, it just wasn't, wasn't working. It was too comedic. And then the episode really turned um, because it was revealed that the counsellor was actually the captain of the pirate ship the whole time. And they had faked the whole colony of people um, being captured so they could capture the Enterprise, so they could get Spock, so they could use her, um, him against T'Pring because T'Pring had their husband, I think husband, Vulcan husband, in the rehabilitation centre that she runs. So all this was done to try and get her to basically release um, the other Vulcan and trade them for Spock. So Spock um, fakes an affair with Chapel to get to bring to basically release him and not sacrifice herself and, and her um, her career to save him. So um, so it just becomes a bit over the top. And I hate to say it, but Jesse James Cartel's performance once they were um, exposed as the villain was so over the top and awful. I mean, if they'd had a moustache, they would have been twirling it. It was that bad. And I'm like, oh, why? You are making it so easy for people to criticise you now and say that you're only there because of your gender and the politics, not because you can actually act, because they gave such a bad performance. Once they were revealed as a villain, it was just over the top. And, I mean, complete with 1988 sheer black, you know, see-through cat suit and everything. It was just... It was just too much and didn't work. Um, now, eventually, they beam off the ship because um, Pike basically gets control of the, 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 the pirate ship and um, they control the Enterprise remotely, basically, and um, disable the Enterprise and the captain abandons the ship and her crew uh, to beam onto a little shuttle in the asteroid belt and then they go off, I guess, to try and work out how to free their husband, who turns out to be Cybok, Spock's brother. Spock works that out just through the conversation because basically he's, you know, embracing emotion and uh, basically he's being treated as a criminal or, or mentally ill and um, 
So he's there under a a disguise, um, and Dupring is actually managing him, not knowing that it's Spock's brother, half brother. So that's the end of the episode. I mean, parts of it were good. I enjoyed parts of it. The the scenes with Spock and Chapel were really good when they're talking about romance and he was being very vulnerable and asking for her help. The scenes when they were when she was fighting and that they were all good. But then this comedic turn uh, once they were captured and the over the top villain, um, it just was really uneven and didn't work. Um, overall I did enjoy the episode but there were some scenes that were just really threw me out um, and I don't feel I've had a great episode yet um, I'm enjoying the series, the return to format but they haven't had a great episode yet that didn't have some big fault or some flaw and this was certainly one of them I'm going to go, feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe let me know what you think and also having the trans non-binary character turn out to be the villain you know, the other was very disappointing and so is the fact that I didn't keep to five minutes. I said I was going to keep to five minutes for this video, but I forgot to mention that. It just seemed re really stereotypical. They're literally clad in a black cat suit, walking around, mincing around like, you know, the the over-the-top sort of camp villain. And I'm like, really? Have we have we not gotten gotten anywhere? And like, it just was really. It wasn't progressive. It wasn't. I didn't. I didn't think it was good representation. Uh, the way they did it. Um, it started off that way, but it, it turned and it just became really um, basic and kind of not quite predictable, but just really, oh, of course they're the villain, of course they're the over-the-top, you know, other, threatening, strange, other, it's just, it's just disappointing. But I'm going to go, I was really going to try and keep this to five minutes, but I failed. Bye.